Hello everyone and welcome to my review of what might be the greatest Lego sets of our generation. Yes, I am taking a look at the 4 Plus Legacy Kai's Blade Cycle. Number is 71734 and it comes with two minifigs including, I mean you can see him again, it's, it's my boy, Legacy 1 Kai. So I'm going to have a look at the build first and then the figures do it in the opposite order to save the best for last the build I'll start with this side build ingenious play function here oh it's so good it worked so well to launch this I mean you can see how expertly designed it is ah oh, it's working so well and it's so good for play didn't have a massive issue just then with it no you also get this beautifully crafted uh thing um scenery exactly that's what it is of course scenery to really really expand and make the play experience that much better but 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 yeah and also you get a lego snake and this this isn't this isn't the new lego snake the really very nice new mold that they did for nagini no this is the classic lego snake which really looks so old-fashioned which is so clever for a legacy set because obviously legacy is past so it's so ingenious using this uh, really outdated snake there you can probably put it in there if I wasn't filming one handed out yeah yeah put it through there and it looks it looks so good see ah oh, look at that but but you don't care about the sideboard really uh just go on the main board even though it, this isn't the main thing you'll hear in the review but for. onto the bike itself uh my only criticism is this should have been a sticker i feel like making this really cool printed piece of sticker would have elevated this set and made it that much better because if there's one thing i love with lego sets it's putting on the stickers now looking around the side you see this bike frame here i like the fact that lego are going away from uh brick on brick construction to just go to big large parts it really makes it so much more unique i guess uh then we're on the back here we've got these blades at the back sword of fire two of them because Kai, it's made from the Sword of Fire, and Kai's got the Sword of Fire decoration. It's so clever. It's so ingenious using this piece. It doesn't feel like it's lost the specialness it once had in 2011. No, it makes it more special how much they've used it since. Yeah, it's just so good. I mean, look at this. The wheels are split down the middle, which uh, is really cool because it creates a unique design. And maybe it could become a quad. Uh, who knows? Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. Drives along quite nicely. Got a handle. So you can... You can fit main man himself in into the bike. Uh, big boy, Legacy One Kai. Look. Yeah, and you can have him ride it, and it's just you can fulfill the Ninjago dreams you've wanted to for so many years. Figure is this um, Hypnobri. He's cool. I really like the sand blue and this head mold. Looks so much cooler than those molded serpentine heads. Uh, yeah, looks really nice. Uh, I like the greys and the blues. However, I think Lasher would have been so much better because if there's one figure I like almost as much as Legacy One Kai, it's Legacy Lasher, but this Hypnobri, it's cool. I'm happy to have it. It's very nice for iron building, but man, I wish I could get uh, my hands on a Lasher. No oh, well. The reason you or anyone would even consider buying the set, the greatest set, which this is, is, is for this figure. I mean, look at it. It's, it's Legacy One Kai. Uh, talked about how good it was in my uh, magazine review, but I realised... Not everyone gets those magazines. They're only really in Europe. So, like, if you want your opportunity to get your hands on such a hard-to-get and rare figure, then, well, this is the set to go for. I mean, it's beautiful. It encapsulates what Lego Ninjago represents. And it is it is so good for that reason. Here is the box art. See what X-Men design is? See all the sand? That's similar to Dune. Uh, an, uh, an equal level masterpiece is this set, Dune. Uh, and then on the back, you've got red, which makes sense because Kai is the red ninja. It's so clever, so expertly done. Instructions are cool, but what I like are these incredibly creepy looking hands. They really make you feel inspired to build it and aren't at all threatening in how uh, weird they look. On the back, there are advertisements for less good sets apart from this one, which is obviously maybe the one set greater because. It's like Swan Kai, and it's such an improved build for the Ultrasonic Raider. And look at the back, we've got Ninjago movie Lloyd, because that film is very current, very relevant. I think calling this the greatest set of all time might not actually be nice enough for just how perfect it is on every level. Yeah, I had a few minor nitpicks, but every single one of them is washed away thanks to the inclusion of Legacy One Kai. This figure, so rare, so valuable, so perfect. It's just, <laughs> it speaks for itself. 
set is clear cut a 10 out of 10 and I'll see you next time.